Hello, welcome to terraxlearning.com. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the VMware vSphere client could not connect problem. Just going to show you the problem quickly. If you click on vSphere client trying to connect to your vS vCenter server, you type in your uh, username and your password, you hit connect you get this error message vSphere client could not connect to vCenter this is my um, domain alright so to solve this problem um, it has to do with um, IIS on the server where you have um, vCenter you don't have to install IIS or um, web um, publishing so what we have to do to solve this problem we need to go to administrative tools services now you scroll down all the way till you get to World Wide Web Publishing normally um, you'd have to disable IIS on um, IIS services running on your system but if you don't have IIS um, installed on that server you'd have to disable the web worldwide web publishing so you can see here it started now the main problem why you can't really um, log on to vCenter is because the vCenter server service is not running if we go ahead and uh, yep you can see this it says not started if we try to start it as well it's just gonna be here for forever without even starting um, it's really just gonna pause here for a while and it, you get a message saying um, the vCenter server cannot start so all you need to do I'm gonna close this scroll down double click on this and click stop and also click disabled now you need to be sure if you have if you really want to disable these um, services you might be using it for something different but I really don't know um, yeah so you click and apply click on OK sometimes you might have to restart the PC for it to take effect but let me try and you can see this uh, I'm gonna close this close this close I'm going to restart the server quickly. It's only going to take a few minutes for it to come up. Now oh, the server is coming up now. Um, when I log into the system, I'm going to try to connect to my vCenter server and see how that goes. okay so um, we're back on um, I'm just gonna go back to services and have a look for you if you come down here you can see worldwide it's um, been disabled and if you go if you look at the V VM you can see it's not started um, so you can go and go ahead and log into your vCenter server it's pretty much going to take a little while because um, alright here we go problem all fixed you have uh, your vCenter client logged onto your vCenter alright thanks for watching bye